Hi guys and welcome back to Shadi's Kitchen. I'm Shadi. Today we're making an absolute fabulous dessert. It's Dud Ke Savaya or in Punjabi we say Dud Samia. It's actually a vermicelli pudding and it's vegetarian friendly. So are you ready? Let's get cooking. So we've started here with a bowl um, of um, milk. So I've actually, sorry, it's a saucepan of milk. And uh, in this pan I've added two liters of whole milk. And to that I've added half a liter of water. Now I've brought it to boil already, so you need to bring that to a boil. So I'm just gonna knock this heat up now to a slightly higher heat. And just make sure you keep stirring the milk in the pan itself because you don't want it to boil over. So it's very very important throughout this whole process right the way through to the end that you keep stirring this now this milk has already been brought to a boil i'm just going to wait a moment longer i can see the bubbles appearing on the side and then we'll go ahead and add the next part of the ingredient to that now to this i'm going to add a quarter a teaspoon of salt And just make sure you just keep mixing that in because it can very quickly boil over if you're not careful especially with the milk at the temperature it is at the moment and with that we'll add 100 grams of sugar and you just keep mixing that in now with the sugar later on if you decide that this dish isn't sweet enough for you you can add more sugar just do it to taste that's purely up to you where uh, I tend to put a bit less in there overall and over time I've reduced that amount but do feel free to add more sugar if you need to do that to this we'll add uh, some cardamom seeds and the the seeds we've not counted the seeds exactly we've just taken the seeds that were in four pods and we'll add that in now and give that a nice mix in and at this moment in time we will move ahead and we're going to add 70 grams of uh, vermicelli now we've broken down the vermicelli into very not very very small pieces uh, I'll attempt to show you over here in terms of the length but you can I'll just grab a few together so it's a bit clearer um, on camera but you can see that I've broken them down into relatively small pieces no more than you're looking at probably about two inches uh, in length so we'll add that in there and give that a nice mix we're gonna mix that for about two minutes now just gently mix it in there two minutes or so before we add the next ingredient hopefully uh, the, the vermicelli will start absorbing in all that milk and the flavors and the main aim of this dish is to uh, try to thicken it up so it'll become quite thick at the end and the thickness is purely up to you if you find that the end of the dish is too thick you can add more milk later on and just put it on a, on a low heat and give it a bit of a mix it's purely up to your preference to how you do this right now next I'm gonna add 25 grams of raisins to this and once I've added the raisins I'm gonna give it a little mix I will keep mixing this but I'm going to come back to you and I'll give you the length of the time that we've spent uh, while the water evaporates from the milk and this mixture begins to thicken so we'll cut away now 
and we'll just make sure you keep stirring this you don't want it to boil over but we'll let you know how long we've been doing that for and give you a bit of a visual aid in terms of what the uh, vermicelli should be looking like at that point so it's actually started to thicken quite a lot now it's been about 15 minutes I just want to make you aware I've added about 30 grams more of the vermicelli because it wasn't thickening very quickly so I've upped it to 100 grams in total now of the vermicelli which we've reflected in our ingredient list the uh, if you were putting 100 grams of vermicelli it's about 10 minutes before it thickens uh, because we had to add 30 grams more to top it up to 100 grams it's taking us 15 minutes so when you're doing this you want the mixture to get relatively thick like you can see over here at this point what you will do is you will take this pan off heat and you will leave it out of the way for approximately an hour for it to cool down and the mixture will continue to thicken nicely I've crushed some almonds uh, on the side about a handful of almonds on the side uh, which you can then add at the top you can sprinkle it across the top of your dish and it goes tastes really really well with this uh, particular um, vermicelli pudding so time to turn the gas off so I'm taking this off heat now and just leave this now for the next hour or so to cool down and thicken up, thicken up nicely and then it'll be ready Another amazing dish to add to your desserts. Time to get my parents' reaction. Seal of approval met. For many, many more of my recipes, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you're getting updates. And I'll see you soon.